Hey everyone, it is Ashley Meyer. I told you guys I would make you a video on failing. <laughs> Woo! Yes, failing. Let me talk about that for a second here. Yes, I do fail. There is a difference from failure to failing. I'm not a failure. Failure is an event. Failure is an event, okay? Failing is different. There's two different things there. You can fail. And failing is not a bad thing. It really is not. And I will tell you why. First off, where do I start? Well, let me see here. This awesome, amazing, fantastic, wonderful, crazy journey that I've been on. I mean, crap, I could say it started when I was born, right? Two spinal taps. Bless the Lord for... Uh, you know, saving me. I, there's obviously a reason I'm here, some big purpose, because I had, I got baptized in the hospital. They didn't think I was going to make it. There's, there we go. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. But on, on the real here, um, there's been plenty of times that I've failed. And it's made a difference in my life, this journey becoming a mom at 17 years old. I went through school and I took on classes. But you know what's kind of funny is that I actually got kicked out of high school. And not just once. <laughs> I got kicked out of one high school and sent to an alternative high school. And got kicked out of my alternative high school my first quarter I was there. I had to fail. It, it took that to turn me around to come back. And I came back. Then, I failed to listen to my parents and protect myself, and I became pregnant, 17, 17 years old. I have an 11-year-old, and he is amazing. He is amazing. It changed my life, though. I went from being this person who drank all the time. I got kicked out of high school because I went to school high. Yep, I said it. I went to school high and got kicked out. So that was my life. Anything and everything to do to party, to go and get drunk, to smoking up, that is what I did. And Every single step I have seen where God has been in my life. Let me talk to you about a bit of this journey. So the back surgery. I had back surgery, right? 238 pounds. Lost 100 pounds. I have three kids. Had a breakup of six years that left me going to stay with my parents and my sister and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. I didn't have anywhere to go. I, I couldn't afford to go on my own. Um, you know, I stayed at home watching the kids building a business and I was comfortable though where I was at building because he made enough to where I only needed to make a certain much and that was that. I did what I did because I loved it. I didn't do what I was doing because I wanted an income out of it, and I still don't. Yes, I need to survive, and I need to make money, and I need to, to live, and that comes with what I do, but I don't do what I do because of money. I don't. So this crazy journey that I've been on, right, all this stuff, being homeless, being homeless, and taking care of kids that has led into me all of a sudden going through this 2013. Woo, that was my homeless time. That was the craziness. That was nuts. 2014, I was like, yes, this is my year. What? And it was nuts. Nuts. Crazy, crazy failing. Failing, not failure, failing, 
went through a lot of personal stuff during this time. And what did it do? What did it do? However, I was blessed with a place that I paid for. Thanks to my business and everyone that believes in me. It pushed me to start back up in my school. I've had credits from school here and there and here and there. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go back to school. December. December. The end of, like, middle of December. I'm like, I'm going back to school. And people are looking at me like, you're nuts. I'm like, why? Because don't you think you already have enough going on in your life? You're going to school, or you have three kids, you're running a business, like, that. you're just going to overload yourself. And how many classes are you going to take? I took three classes. And let me tell you, it was difficult. I'm in the finals, and this last week has really, really pushed me. I had a binder that was supposed to be due at noon, and I'm sitting there, and I am bawling. I was bawling on Monday, yesterday. I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't revised all my stuff yet. This is going to be late. I mean, and I sent my instructor a message. I'm like, I'm so sorry. I understand that this is going to affect my grade. It's not where I want it to be at. And I don't want to turn it in this way. And I still didn't even want to turn it in the way that it was, but I turned it in. I turned it in at like 2 o'clock. I failed to manage my time. That was my issue. I've been sitting here taking care of my kids, running my home on my own, and running a business with an amazing team. In my classes, I have A's. Two of them are A minuses right now. And I'm like, I never, ever would have cared about a grade. Never. Never. As long as I pass, I would have, whatever. I never even read the books before. But this year, I said I'd go in, all in, no matter what. And I went in with the tenacity, with the mentality, with everything in my heart and soul telling me, I can do this. I can do this. And I want A's. And I've been sitting there praying. I'm like, please don't let this affect it to go underneath it, an A minus. Don't let it go underneath an A minus. Don't. But with all of this comes failing. You're going to fail. And if you're not pushing yourself to fail, you're not going to grow. And I strive for growth. And I want to tell you something that I heard, that I wrote down, and it really hit me hard. It says, I seek growth and I want a challenge. Why? Because failure is what I can identify what my limits are and push my energy to how I can overcome them. So let me say this again. He didn't say it in an I, he said it in a you, but I changed it to I. Because it totally made sense. Okay, so you need to seek growth. Okay, seek growth. I seek growth because I want a challenge. Because failure is what identifies my limits and pushes me, my energy, to how I can overcome them. If you are not failing, you're not pushing yourself to achieve what it is that you want to achieve. I put myself up with these classes because I knew it was going to be hard. I knew it was going to be tough. But I needed to push myself so I could focus on failing. Failing forward. If I can do this, why can't I do anything else in my life? If I can take care of three kids and I can run a business and I can go to school and I can take care of myself. And let me tell you, there's a lot of times I'm like, ooh. Wrap. Sometimes I don't manage my time very well and I fail and I learn from it and I grow. I can see where my limits are now. 
if my school was done, like if I graduated this quarter, which, or this semester, I'm not going to, so I have more credits, and I've even thought about going to get my bachelor's. Why not? Why not? Who cares how long it takes me to get there? It just matters that I did it. And, but if I took away the semester that I was doing right now, you would think it would give me more time to build a bigger business or to more time to do this or that. And honestly, not for me. Because we get in our heads, we're like, yeah, I got time to do this, and I got time to do that. And we don't push ourselves to our limits. You need to push yourself to your failure, not to your failure, so that you fail, so that you can grow. Don't be afraid of failing. When you fail, acknowledge it. Find out what it is that you need to do. Keep practicing. The minute that you fail and you're like, all right, no. I just tried this. I failed. Not going to happen. You walk away. That's your fear. That's your fear setting inside of you, getting into your head, telling you that you can't do this. And that's not true. (laughs) You let your fear take over you. The person that fails once and is like, Oh, like, really? Why did I, why, why did, no. All right, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. And they continue to push and push and push and practice and learn and grow and fail and then grow and then fail and then grow. They are going, they are the ones that are successful. That's what happens. They fail and they learn. Now, if you did get it right on the first time. They probably want something different because maybe they don't. Maybe you're someone who gets something right and you're like, yes, awesome. I'm going to stay here with this section of my book because I understand it and I'm awesome at it and I'm fantastic and that's great. But you're afraid to go someplace different. You're afraid to learn something new. You're afraid to try something else because you're comfortable. Because you understand it. Because you know. And you know that you're not going to fail there. Don't be afraid of failing. It's going to push you to new limits. It's going to show you what you are truly made of. What you are truly capable of. And take the failing and push past it to learn, and to grow. Time to fail forward this year in 2015. Hashtag failing forward.